Hello everyone, welcome to Tarot So Fine. This is a general tarot card reading for the sign of Sagittarians, Sun, Moon, Rising signs for the first week of March 2020. And I'll be using the Tarot de la Nuit deck. And I'm recording this Monday, March 2020. So here we go. What do you need to know this week? What's in store for Sagittarians this week? Hope you had a good weekend. I did. Ten of Wands, second card, death card, don't worry, this doesn't mean death, it means transformation, wow, third card is the Lovers, bottom card, Queen of Pentacles, Okay. So, important week with uh, both major arcanas. Hmm. May possibly a third one because the tower came underneath the. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, but I'm not sure yet. I have to look at the cards a little bit here. Definitely some kind of ending. We have the Ten of Wands in the Death card. Ten is the last number in the Pip card, so that means it's the end of this um, oppressive situation, something oppressive. It's the end of that. The Tower is also an ending that comes suddenly, so... I feel like maybe it is an uh, important part of this reading. Something big coming to an end. The lovers can be about a third party. So for some of you, um, you may be you may have been involved in a third party situation and that comes tumbling down that's like over. No more third party. The Ten of Wands in this deck is really different than uh, the traditional image for, for this pip card. So there's a lot of fire here. Like it's burning down. She's burning with it. So I feel like... Um, and the tower gets struck by lightning, too. So I feel like they're related. Um, there may have been a, a situation, a, um, a relationship that you had with someone that was very passionate, very, very passionate affair, and... Um, it may have just burnt itself out, you know, like uh, sometimes when uh, you're in a very passionate relationship and it happens, it flares up very quickly. It, uh, it just, at some point, it just dies because there's no energy left. All the energy is spent, you know what I mean? 
And we have a um, Queen of Pentacles here with the key hanging from her wrist. So this could be um, the other person. This, you see, we have the woman in the Ten of Wands, and then we have the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like this, there's two women involved. For some of you, there may be two women involved. And um, this is the, the woman in the Ten of Wands, is the relationship the affair that has come to an end, it's burnt itself out. But the queen of pentacles remains. She's stable. She holds the key. She's grounded. She's the real deal. In this uh, three-party situation, she's the one that stays because she brings stability and real um, what's the word yeah she brings real stability to a relationship she's there for the long haul she's very dependable caring in her actions When she says she's going to be there, she will be there for the long haul. Whereas this energy, once the passion's gone, there's not much left. The fire burns everything down to the ground, like this tower card. It's not based on a solid foundation, so it comes crumbling down at some point. And that's where the, the death card comes in. Um, so you can flip this either way, you know, cross watchers, whatever. Um, but I feel like someone realizes, they realize which person is the one worth investing in for the long term. This may have been an illusion. And because I see the death card here, like almost like a mask in a way. The mask falls down like the tower. Reality sets in with the Queen of Pentacles. Seems like a very specific message here. It won't apply to everyone, that's for sure. Uh, let me see how else I can read this. But yeah, this person holds the key to your heart. This could be male or female. A male or female person it's a feminine energy feminine in a practical way someone who cares they have a big heart and they show it through the things that they do how they support you within the relationship how they add value to the relationship this energy is more like a fly-by-night kind of energy that's how I'm seeing it in this reading. So let me see if I can uh, read it in uh, a way that's not relating to relationships of this kind. The only other way I can read this is that um, someone will have a sudden realization where their priorities lie. They'll see where things need to fall away, things that they've been passionate about. Um, they may realize that it doesn't hold much value. Oh, 
Hold on. Hold on a second. Something popped up on my phone here. Um, so, someone will come to a sudden realization that out of two different things they were focused on, one didn't have value. It had a lot of passion and excitement for the time, but that is done because there's no more that can be drawn from it. It doesn't sustain. So they decide to choose the one thing that they know will support them for the long run. So um, that's what I'm getting for this reading. Leave me your comment. I'd like to read those and uh, like, share and subscribe. Thank you.